Mississippians are weighing in on President Biden's new mandate for larger businesses surrounding COVID-19. WTVA's Rhea Thornton caught up with a couple of people in the Golden Triangle to get their opinions on the new mandate. It's been about a week since President Biden announced employees that work at businesses with over 100 employees must be vaccinated or undergo weekly testing. And it's done more than raise an eyebrow for some folks in the Golden Triangle. And I feel like it's a lot of government overstep into people's private businesses and their decisions. On Thursday, President Joe Biden made the announcement, which also applies to federal workers and to those working at hospitals that get Medicare or Medicaid money. One person in West Point who did not want to be shown on camera said she feels the president's decision was made in the best interest of his people. That's just an opportunity uh, for all of us to combat the enemy and the enemy is COVID-19. However, not everyone in the Golden Triangle feels that way. Garner Cheney, who lives in Starkville, feels this mandate oversteps the power the president holds. And the 10th Amendment is, you know, all not all the powers not in the Constitution go to Congress. And so I don't really see how it's his place to put in such a mandate, especially when businesses are private. The mandate is expected to impact millions of businesses across the country, many of which are in Mississippi. And with it affecting so many individuals, opinions will continue to collide. HIPAA is a big deal. You know, privacy is a big deal. That's what our country is founded on is individual liberties. I feel like it's a slippery slope violating one aspect, but not all the others. We all every day give up some of our personal freedoms to make sure that this is a world that's sane, for our children, for our grandchildren, for those people that we love. Republican governors, including the ones in Mississippi and Alabama, plan to fight the mandate in court. However, the U.S. Supreme Court has a history of upholding vaccine mandates dating back to 1905. Reporting in Starkville, Rhea Thornton, WTBA 9 News.